much for joining us for the News at 6. I'm Dawn Baker. And I'm Mike Sela. New at 6, we are hearing from businesses around Savannah after the city announced a new race is coming this fall. The Every Woman's Marathon would start at City Hall and end at the Trustees Garden on East Broad Street. Flynn Snyder joins us now live from downtown Savannah. Flynn, how are community members reacting? Well, Mike, Don, many local runners here in the Hostess City say they're excited about a major marathon returning here on November 16th to the Hostess City. There are some lingering questions, though, tonight among some who live downtown about just how exactly this event might impact them. The Savannah running community is rejoicing after city leaders announced the Every Woman's Marathon will be held in November. It's a huge boon for the community from, an, from a, not only from an athletic perspective, but for just the general economy. Fleet Feed General Manager Jason Sapp says after the city decided to part ways with the Rock and Roll Marathon after a decade, Many local runners are eager for a similar event to return. Savannah has always been known as like, you know, it's a great town, is a, is a party city, but to have that, those, those healthy athletic endeavors here too, it's fantastic for us. With 5,000 runners expected to take part, tourism leaders say the race is sure to give a bump to the city's economy in what can be a slower time. It'll be the only one of its type focused entirely on women. When we look at um, who drives the travel buying decision, it's often the female in the household. So um, it seems to overlay, overlay really nicely. For some who live in downtown Savannah, the negative impacts they say they experienced during previous marathons still weigh heavy on their minds. Many texts I've gotten today about that from residents already is asking How's it going to impact us? Downtown Neighborhood Association President David McDonald praises city leaders for talking with residents about any impacts from the event. He says there are so concerns to work out before November. There are disruptions. We can't go out, walk in the streets. Uh, police are very emphatic about not letting you cross the street or get out of your neighborhood. Now, the city is promising a much smaller race than past marathons that have been held here. Uh, city officials are promising that runners will be cleared from the historic district by 10 o'clock in the morning on race day and that they won't be towing any cars. Again, this uh, Every Woman's Marathon is set for November 16th here. Mike Don, everything we know about today's announcement is on our website, WTOC.com. Reporting live in Savannah, Flint Snyder, WTOC News. Continuing coverage now after a fire broke out yesterday at a building off of Chatham Parkway. Our Anna Stansfield joins us.